Jack County Public Library here in Georgetown, Kentucky. And last week, you may have watched a video that I did on kayak fishing. This week, my husband is going to be in this video showing you how to clean some of the fish that we caught recently. He's going to show you a super simple way of filleting a fish with an electric fish knife. It is my personal favorite. He is also going to do some more in-depth methods. And I just want to give you guys a little bit of a trigger warning in case you are a bit squeamish. There will be blood and guts in this video. So stick around here with us and learn how to fillet some fish. In this segment, we're going to show you how to clean a catfish. This is a channel catfish. And there's a hundred ways to clean catfish, maybe more. A lot of old timers will say, in my day, we'd clean them like this. We're going to show you two methods. The two methods that we're going to show you are going to end up with a fillets with two fillets of boneless meat or the second method is going to end up with an intact fish body like this that can be fried as well for this we need a knife a pair of, this is a pair of catfish skinners you can use regular pliers, but these work much better. And for both methods, we're gonna need a bowl of water to put the fish in when we're done. We need a, some kind of bag to put the leftover parts of the fish in when we're done. And then we need baggies when we're done to put the fillets or the fish into. So the first method we're gonna show you is the fillets. The fillets require really just one tool and this is an electric knife electric fish knife and what you're going to do with this fish is you're going to turn it like this here you'd turn it the other way if you're doing it right handed i'm doing it left handed we see that there's a bone that sticks out right here and then we have the bone if you follow it with your finger comes around here we see where it sticks out in the jaw what we're going to do is take that electric knife and we're going to cut and then we're just going to turn the knife sideways and we're just going to pull the fish towards us like this right here and go down but we're going to stop before we cut through the tail reason we're going to do that is we're going to flip it open like this right here so that we still have the fish to hold on to when we're taking the skin off so we're just going to take the knife sideways get cut down into the meat and then we're just going to turn the knife under like this right here and come down here and cut this off like this. And we have a solid piece of meat. Now, one of the things that we want to look for is right in this area right here. You'll see this kind of silver skin looking stuff that's right there. That's from the belly where rib bones are. And the rib bones, we just want to cut out so that we don't have bones in there. And if you run your fingers along the fish fillet, you can feel the bones in it. And so this is where you end up with your fillet of fish. And then you turn it over and do the other side. The method I'm going to show you now is going to take this fish, skin it, and it's going to end up like that whole piece of fish that you saw. This method is a lot less smooth in the sense that it takes more time to do, it takes more effort. You end up with a fish that has bones in it. We prefer to do the filet method, but some people want to be able to fry a whole fish um, and serve them that way. And if you're going to do that, this is the way that you would want to do it. Like I said, there's going to be people that say, I know a better way to do it. There's a hundred ways to do it. We're going to show you one of them. Same thing as the uh, time before is we're looking for where that bone from the skull sticks out and we're going to cut all the way across, make sure we get through and we're going to come, but this time we're going to come down and we're going to get the belly and we don't want to really cut into the belly. All the way through we just want to cut through the skin of the belly so we're going to do it a little bit more cautious than if we were just trying to open the fish up so we're going to come through there like that and we're just going to make sure 
that it goes all the way around the fish. Now, once we have the fish cut like that, we're going to take these, which are catfish skinning pliers. You can use a regular pair of wide grip pliers on it. Needle nose aren't going to work. One warning to this method is that it is a much messier, uh, some would say gory way to clean a fish but it does end up with the fish in the results that you want. So we're going to take these pliers and we're going to grab a hold of that lip of the skin where we cut and we're just going to start working that skin back. And what we're trying to do is just pull the skin off like a sock, leave the meat and pull back on it. As you can see, I'm haven't exerted a little bit of effort to do it. You're not going to get it in one piece. Um, it's very rare that you can do that. But we're just grabbing it and we're pulling. And I'm using the head to do it. The fins on the side, the pectoral fins, will only push forward towards their mouth so far. So I like to get my fingers behind them and push the dorsal fin down so I don't get stabbed. And I'm just going to work my way down this fish. And as you can see, we've already spent more time doing this than we did filleting the entire fish on the other one. And we're only part way through. And we're putting a lot more effort into it. And this is why we like the filleting much better. And we also like getting a boneless piece of meat which makes it better when it comes time to consume the, the fish. So we've worked off that side completely. We're going to come over to this side and start pulling. And as we pull down, this is why we didn't want to cut all the way through the stomach is because we'll start pulling meat off at that point from the stomach area. And sometimes you're going to have that happen anyway. So we just pull down through, get this last little bit off down here, and we have the, the fish done. So this is the part where it gets a little bit more gory. We want to finish cutting through all the meat. Some people will take a knife. I have a fillet knife here. It's not really made for cutting through bone. You could get a thicker knife, cut through the bone. But really the easiest way once you have it done like that is to just take the head and the body and twist the opposite way. And that way you have the head off that quickly. Then all we're going to do is we're going to take the knife. We're going to stick it right down through here. And we're just going to cut up through to the belly. And then we're just going to pick the remaining organs and stuff out of the inside. We're going to get it fairly clean right now, but we're not going to worry about getting it completely cleaned out. We just want to get the major stuff. And then we're going to put it in the bowl with the water. And when we get to where we have running water that we can run it under, we're going to do a complete cleaning on it. So by the time that you take this fish to cook it, or you package this fish to store it, like in the freezer or the refrigerator, you should have all the inside clean, but you're gonna need running water because doing it like this, you can't get it all out. So we're just gonna put that in the bowl for right now. And that's that method of doing it. And you have as I showed the entire fish. The other thing is you can take the skinning pliers if you want to get rid of this dorsal fin here and just pull it off and not have it go in the water. But like this right here, and that way you don't have to mess with it. A lot of people will cut the tail off. A lot of people consider the tail when you fry it the best part of the fish and uh, they'll take your tail if you don't. Put it right in there, put our waste product in here, 
and that's the two methods for cleaning a catfish. In this segment, we're going to show you how to clean a panfish. These are bluegill. We have some red ear in here as well. Um, panfish are bass, crappie, bluegill, shell crackers, things like that. Usually you're flat fished like this. Um, they're all clean the same way. Uh, just get different amounts of meat off of each of them. And we're going to skip doing the electric knife demonstration with this because it is exactly the same as the catfish that you saw in the first segment. You're just going to take the knife down in, turn it under, go, not all the way through, flip it, and then skin it off. You just have to be a little more careful because the backbone on the panfish is going to be a little bit less dense than the catfish and you might cut through. The uh, way to clean one and have a whole fish like we did with the catfish is exactly the same where we're going to remove the innards, cut off the head. But with a panfish, they have scales on them. And if you look, when you uh, pick at a, at a panfish, the scales, if you go backwards from the tail to the head and pick, you can see they pop up like that. And one way to do it, and I'm going to use a different knife, is to take the back of your knife. They do make scalers that are designed for scaling fish, but a spoon, uh, back of a knife, and we just take the knife backwards like this. And if you want to come in here close and look, you can see where the scales are just popping off. Like this right here. And we do that, you know, all the way up from the tail until we don't have any of the scales on the fish. And then just like the catfish, once we have that completely done, then we would remove the head. And these, like I said, the backbone's a little bit thinner. You can just cut right through. We want to go around the head right here, save all the meat. And then we're going to split it up the middle like we did with the catfish and remove the guts. So that's how you do it. You just finish out everything on there, getting all the scales on it. And you can run your hand over it and feel it smooth here where it's skin and not smooth where the scales are at. So you would just continue on with that scraping, getting them all off. What I'm going to show you now is how to flay these if you don't have an electric knife. You're going to take your knife and you're going to start cutting here on the head. We're going to go out around that little bone like we did with the catfish in front of these little pectoral fins. And we're making that cut like that. Then we're just going to take the knife and we're going to insert it at the top of that cut, the tip. And we're just going to cut down the backbone alongside that dorsal fin like that so that we have it like this once we get it there then we're going to stick the knife all the way through and we're going to cut all the way through the tail then we're just going to take our knife and run it against the bone and we're going to pull that meat back like this as we do it and that's going to cause the meat to separate from the bone and again, you're going to run into those rib bones. You're just going to try and cut on top of them. Be careful where your hand's at and watch what you're doing with the knife. And we're going to peel that away. And then we're just going to cut that piece of meat free. Take our fingers and we just press down hard right here on the tail. And we turn the knife under. Oops. Then we just cut away the skin, and then we have a solid piece of meat like we did with the electric knife, but without an electric knife. Electric knife's always the best. And that's how you clean a panfish.
If you stuck with us this long, I really appreciate you. And I want to say thank you for watching the video today. I hope that you learned something. If you have any questions, feel free to comment or email me. My email here at the library is hannahannahannahannahannahannahannahannahannahannahannahannahannahannahannahannahannahannahannahannahannahannahannahannahannahannahannahannahannahannahannahannahannahannahannahannahannahannahannahannahannahannahannahannahannahannahannahannahannahann